Hi everybody! Welcome to our next Instagram Live for Photoshop Elements. I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to get into the room and get cozy. Hi friends! Come on in! Welcome back! Lily's here. Let's send some waves. If you're watching on demand, you should have been here. Hi friends! Come on in, come on in. We'll get started in just a second. I wanna give people a few minutes to grab their lunch maybe, go to the break room or the living room. Oh my gosh, so many people. I need to send all the waves. Hi everybody. Oh my gosh. Be sure to tell your friends. Get in here. Okay. And you can probably hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Hi. Okay, if I haven't waved you, then just comment below and say, hey, how's everybody's day going? I hope you have snacks and you're staying hydrated. Awesome. Well, hello. Welcome to our very second Instagram Live. Uh, we are so excited to have you all here today. We're going to walk through some fun edits and just have this little virtual classroom moment again. Um, Let's get into it, let's get started. My name is Bailey. I work uh, as a part of the Adobe Elements social team. I'm so excited to host another one of these lives and get to teach you all the new fun things that I have in store for you. Um, last time we edited a couple of photos and did an edit per photo. This time I have a really great family summer photo, which I feel like is just relevant and perfect for this time of year as we start to wrap up our summer vacations. I'm sure you have a ton of summer photos in your camera roll. So I wanna take one of them. It's great, it's beautiful, but I wanna make it extra special and uh, do a perfect landscape guided edit and a couple of customizations to it. So I'm gonna walk you through that. And then we're gonna edit it into one of my favorite things on Photoshop Elements, a quote graphic. So stay tuned. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to do the whole thing. Yes, it goes that quickly. It's kind of awesome. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let me pull up my edit. One second and we'll get started right away. Here we are. Here's our photo. It's cute, but it's a little off kilter. That's easily fixed uh, within our guided edit. So right away, hit that guided edit menu and then hit the special edits. And in here, if you scroll down a little bit, we have the perfect landscape guided edit. So go ahead and click that and it'll bring you into this whole new workspace. And right away you'll notice there's like a lot to choose from, but I'm gonna take you step by step and walk you through all of these optimizations and customizations. You can crop the photo, you can straighten the photo, which is what we're gonna do right away. So click that drag it over and click one side of the horizon line and drag it to the other side of the horizon line and let go. And what you'll see is that the Photoshop Elements AI fills out the gaps in that photo. How stinking easy is that? So cool. And now it's perfected. But wait, there's more. In this same menu, there's remove haze right here. And what this will do, it'll take away that like oceany fog and really make those colors pop. How cool is that? So already this photo is starting to look a little more exciting, a little, a little more pizzazz to it, but there's even more within just this same menu. So kind of like Harry Potter, I'm going to do some magic <laughs> and I want to change that skyline um, to be something a little bit more exciting. How about this sunrise? I think I love the yellows in this a lot. Okay, yes, however, <laughs> we need to do a little more um, zhuzhing because my sun is missing. It's down at the bottom. And I can change this by going down here a bit and clicking the move tool. Now what this does, it'll change my cursor. And when I click that, it'll allow me to grab just the sky and move it around a bit. Right, Kate? That's so cool. And now I can see my sun, which is great. That's what I wanted right there in the center. It looks really authentic, but I'm missing the blues at the top, those pretty blues. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna drag this photo over so I can get to the corner. And I'll drag the corner down so that I can see the rest of this skyline come in. There we go. Okay, Ooh, I, think <laughs> I think I need to make it even smaller. So I'm gonna downsize it pretty much all the way and then bring it back up to the top. 
and then I can grab the other corner and bring it so it matches my original photo. How easy is that? Now I can drag it up. Now I get a little bit of the blues, a little bit of my sun, and I can use my arrow keys actually to just get it like just right. So that sun is just peeking through. When I'm happy with that, hit the green check and it saves my progress. Like that's a whole new photo. That's so freaking cool. Okay, but there's even more. Um, see how like the AI has cut my family out perfectly so that it looks authentic on top of that background sky? They did a great job. The AI is pretty fantastic, but I want to edit a few pieces that are over here on this menu. So I can change the opacity and brightness of the sky, which is really cool. And just again, customize however I see fit. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with what it is, but I just wanna show you all the options that you have in Photoshop Elements, because there's so many. Um, so yeah, that's opacity, that's brightness, but let's fit it back to where it was, because I think it's really beautiful. There we go. Okay, and then I have this other one where it'll match both of the images together and do a color tone matching. I just wanna show you what it looks like. It kind of softens the foreground a little bit, but I kind of like how the ocean pops when that's turned off. See how the foam looks really foamy? <laughs> it's like a latte, a sea latte, I don't know. Okay, so let's scroll down. I'm gonna show you a couple other things that we can um, use to perfect that horizon line. So. The Refine Edge Brush is gonna help me do this, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see all of the details. And with my other hand, I'm gonna send out some waves because there are so many of you here. Okay, so can you see how the yellow of the sky is kind of awkwardly bleeding into the ocean line? That doesn't look really realistic. So the Refine Edge Brush is gonna help me make that that much more perfect. And if I click that, it brings up a, a mini menu down below. Hit the subtract button. And what that's gonna do is change my cursor so that when I start to paint over the ocean, it takes away the yellow and lets that ocean pop through. See, love that, so easy. And then if I can, I can drag across the photo, I wanna show you a little bit more of this horizon line. And that's so easy. I think that should be the main takeaway of any of our lives. The easiness of all of this. <laughs> okay, zoom out. Oh my gosh, love it. That's almost perfect. Um, one last thing that if you were at our first slide, you might remember the spot healing brush. This lets me remove any of the blemishes that are in my photo. And I'm gonna zoom in to the beach down here so you can see. I think there's like a footstep. Let's get that footstep out of there. It does not belong for me. All I have to do is click the spot healing brush button my cursor changes automatically, and then I paint over the footprint. And when I release, it's gone, like magic. I'm like Hermione Granger over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take away some of these other blemishes and spots just to perfect that bottom line, and then zoom out, and there we go. How amazing in that is that just in those few short minutes, we've completely transformed this photo into something extra spectacular. So go ahead and click next and then hit save. You can also continue editing in quick or in expert mode, but we don't even need to do that here today. Hi photo, hey Mark. So hit save, it'll save your progress. And let's jump into my next edit, which is creating this into a quote graphic. I don't have to go very far. All I have to do is hit this create button at the top right hand corner and then click quote graphics. And don't be alarmed, <laughs> it'll pop up a whole new space. This is all of our templates that we have to offer. So we're doing the heavy lifting for you. You can make quote graphics from scratch or you can choose from the ones that are already pre-done and they're pretty great if I do say so myself. And I'm thinking, let's do this one right here it already has a little family in it. And look how cool this is. So we offer all of these different sizes in the templates. So it's ready for Instagram or Instagram story maybe, but I'm thinking a square works really best for this family. So let's do an eight by eight. There we go, hit okay. Okay, new workspace, don't be alarmed. <laughs> My original photo is down at the bottom in the thumbnails as, whoops, sorry about that. Um, so my quote graphic is down at the bottom. I'm gonna drag that up to my template and let go. Hope everybody is still here. I had a little <laughs> internet glitch. Um, and what that does is it allows me to increase the size of the photo or rotate. And I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger because I want that family to stand out. 
and hit the green check once you're happy. Hit some hearts if y'all are still here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, um, I'm just zooming in a little bit so you can see more easily and let's uh, edit that quote graphic or the quote itself. So hit click both pieces and pull them over so they're symmetrical to the family. Ta-da! And I'm gonna increase it a little bit so that it's more symmetrical to the space and takes up some of that white space. Thanks for all those hearts. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, hit that green check. All right, now let's have some fun and edit what the actual quote says to match my aesthetic and vibe of the photo. Um, all of this, again, is easily done. You don't have to move to a new menu. It's all right here. And we're just gonna play a little bit. So. Um, I'm going to edit one line at a time, double click that top line, and it automatically highlights and brings up this styles and text property menu. Um, I think I want to change the font of each of these, and I'm looking for something a little more, I don't know, distinguished, I guess. Yeah, let's try this one. Cute, like it, but I want it to be really legible, so I'm going to bold it, and now it's on two lines. That's easily fixed. You just have to pull those squares over so that it's all in one line. Hit the green check once you're happy with it. Ta-da! Great. Okay, now let's work on the bottom line. I like a script. I think that works, but I just want a different script font. So I've highlight, double-clicked and highlighted that, so it's only editing that bottom line. And I think this one. Yeah, that, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, but we needed to make it much bigger because <laughs> we wanted to take up that whole space and be, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. So pull that cursor, hit the green check once you're happy with it. Okay, now let's fix, not fix, but let's change the quote to, be, to match something more closely with the vibe we're going for with our family photo. So um, now that my look and feel is changed a bit, it'll stay that way when I highlight this line and change the actual text, which is kind of nice. So I don't have to start all over again. Hi, Peter. Okay, and then drag that over so it stays all in one line. Perfect, hit that green check, always hit that green check. This makes it easy. Okay, and then keep it centered in your photo, just have to push it over. And now I wanna change the color. This is really cool. If I highlight and click the color box, it brings up this pop out menu that lets me choose a color from my original photo to make it like match and look really pretty. Um, and I really love the dress color, that blue. But if I pick that, it's a little too dark for me. So I can pick anything within the same blue vibe. And I'm just gonna pick a lighter color, a lighter blue, and then hit okay. Ta-da, hit the green check. Awesome, that looks really pretty. Okay, let's do the same, but to the second line. And we need to change um, the color and the wording here. So if you highlight that and click the color box, it actually saves that original color that you just chose. And I'm gonna change my wording. There we go, make your own magic. There's a theme here, a magical theme today. Awesome. Okay, now I think I need to increase the size of that magic because now that it's one word, it's taking up less space. So I really want it to pop. There we go, great. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda move it around a smidge just so that it's absolutely perfect and symmetrical. So, and I love this bit of Photoshop elements, like everything is so customizable. I can click and drag and make my piece of art just that much more custom to something that I like. There we go, I think that's pretty great. Now, for my next magic trick, I wanna add a little spice, a little sprinkle of something extra to this photo, and I can do that with the graphics button right here on the right. And I'm feeling like a flower is needed here. So let's see what we got, let's see what we got. Mm, blue, yes. How about that guy? Click, it'll populate over on my photo on the left. And guess what? I can customize this too. Isn't that nice? Um, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I can actually rotate the flower as well. And I think it would be really cute as like the dot on my eye in magic. Guys. I got all the good ideas, don't worry. Okay, let me perfect this a little bit, make it a teeny bit smaller. And 
make sure that it's just on top of that original dot so that it's covering it. Then hit the green mark. I'm done. This is perfect. How fun is that? I have just used 10 minutes to make a great photo that much greater. And now I wanna like, maybe I'm gonna print this and make it my holiday card for the year um, or post it to social media. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so that was our only edit for today, but I'm sure there will be more in the future. Thank you so much for joining us today. A couple of things before I go. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like the creativity. We did too. I love getting to put these together for you all. Um, so some housekeeping items before we leave. This video is going to be saved to our IGTV and our YouTube channel so that when you're ready to create, I'm right there with you. I get to hold your hand through the process whenever you're ready to make something yourself. So yay. Uh, keep an eye out for that. And then I hope to see you all in our comments up on our Instagram channel, our Facebook page. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. Or if you have any content ideas that you want to see from us, maybe in a future live, maybe in one of our new reels, um, feel free to send us a direct message right here on Instagram. We're always willing to hear from you. Um, and we love that kind of participation from all of our friends and fans. So Thank you again for joining us. It was super fun to have you all. Again, my name is Bailey. I hope you have a fun time creating new things for yourself and your families. Stay safe and have a beautiful day. Thanks. I'm gonna send last waves. I gotta send those waves. Y'all are too sweet. Bye.